I am, um, I'm, when you think of magicians, you don't think of uh, Harry, you think of Harry Houdini, David Copperfield, even a little Michael Blaine there, you know? You don't think of a bunch of me's, a bunch of high school, even college students performing magic in front of four judges for a cash prize of 500, 250, or even 100, depending on first, second, third. Now, this was extremely rare to me because I've never competed in a magic competition. I like magic, I've just never had the opportunity to be in one. I've, to me, I've always just done it in my room, done it, I've never competed professionally, so I just wanted to be in it, you know, see where I can get. I just wanted that special moment for me. Now, when I got there, there were three interesting people, there were three people that I, I got to know. Uh, one guy was some guy I knew since like third grade. His name was Jerry. Um, he was with this guy named Kyle. When I saw Kyle, he just I'm like he's like hey Jerry and Jerry's like hi Jerry's like hi Ozzy. This is my friend Kyle. I'm like hi Kyle, how you doing? Kyle just gave me that look, you know, when you see your ex girlfriend on the street and you just have to ignore her. So yeah, that was the feeling. So like when I saw her, when I saw him, I'm just like okay, I'm, I'll get back to you, Dick. So I just went, and I went. So when I got there, I'm just like, I met this girl named Corinne. She was so, so crazy. <laughs> oh my god, just insane. She, she, but you know what? She was, she was very interesting to me. I, she was the kind of girl that I could honestly see myself with. So, yeah, I'm not crazy. Just to get things straight first. So, yeah, I mean. She got from the first moment she met me. She's like, "Hi, I'm Corinne. I'm an elephant." I'm like, "You're so stupid." But let's let's continue this. <laughs> so then, when I met, when, so then I we were talking for about an hour. As soon as the first act, leg of the act, I didn't know there were the first. I didn't know there were two legs. I just thought it was two. I just thought it was one performance, and that was it. I'm like, "Oh God, I don't have another trick." Luckily, the first act was a card trick, so I just had to perform a card trick. Simple. I just got a deck of cards shuffled them around, and I just shuffled them a few times, and it was simple. It was just as simple as five, eight, and an ace. Simple as that. So then, as soon as, I, I transported those cards separately, and as soon as, I, I thought I did pretty good. I did not good enough to make it to the second half of the show with six other people. I had, it was in a competition with a guy I knew, Jerry, Kerwin, the girl I was interested in, and the Dick Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> I had a love interest, a, an enemy, and my best friend. Yeah, it was turning into a first grade Hollywood movie. Terrible review, by the way. So then anyways, as soon as we made it, as soon as I, I made it to the next round, Kyle was right before me. I'm like, okay, Kyle, listen, you gotta change your attitude or else you're going to, you're gonna ruin your show. He's, I'm all, I don't know why I said that, but I'm so glad I said it, because he just, he messed up. It. So, yeah, he, um, as soon as he, I've never been so happy to see somebody fail, I was like, <laughs> so as soon as he went, as soon as I, well, I didn't do that in real life, so, yeah, I'm not that kind of immature two-year-old. So then it was my turn to go up, I had to predict, every, there were four judges that I brought, all four of the judges, I had them sit in the chair, they were designated a color, I asked them a few questions before, they guessed everything. I guess everything perfect. I had to predict the past, make it into the present, to somehow bring it into the future. I got off the stage, got on my knees. Oh my god! I did it! I did it. I'm like, I, and then it, it was that time. There were six of us in a line, ready to hear our names. Third place went to the guy I knew, Jerry. Jerry was, I'm like, good job, Jerry. Good job. You did great. I'm like, and then it was second place. I was so happy to find out that I won second place. Because, not because I wanted first place and I was like, oh god, I rushed to the stage, ran, rolled, jumped up, got up, got my medal, my money, and that was about it. I just got, I, I left that, I'm like, whoa, I just won something in my life. I just, oh my god, I didn't even have to try, I just love doing this. This could have been so... Terrible. This could have been a day where I would have never wanted to do magic, went home, ah, I hate magic! But no, this worked out very well, where I participated in a competition that I loved. When I, after the show, I met Corinne again, and there we were, talking, and then I'm like, hey, let's go, let's go do something. I mean, I, I got $250, why not? <laughs> so then she's like, so then she, we went out, we were talking for about 
And then, at that moment when you think you found that person you've been searching for your whole life, when you just gaze into their eyes, and you finally realize that it's happened. BAM! She slapped me! I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! But I'm like, oh, well, I have $250, but you don't, but yeah. Whatever, I'm, I, that was the most magical day that's ever happened to me.